Hey guys, welcome to class. My name is Kendi and I am a teacher here on Verbling.com. This class will be a great class for intermediate students or advanced students who wish to improve their pronunciation. The ED endings in the past tense are crazy confusing, right? Because they're always pronounced a different way. Um, and it's really difficult to place a rule on them. So we're going to go over a lot of examples. And in the next class, go through a reading passage about Cesar Chavez to practice our pronunciation in a more uh, real setting. So I'll let you guys get signed in. Um, Nihon, nice to see you again, as always. How are you? Hey, hi, Candy. I'm doing great. Pronunciation class, oh my gosh. <laughs> what, oh my gosh? <laughs> What is that? What do you mean? Oh, my oh gosh. I have lots of troubles uh, for pronunciation. So then this is awesome. <laughs> this is, then this is great, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, your English is good, though. Hmm? Oh, I should just join. It, it has been a long time that uh, I haven't seen her. Yeah, I know. That's true. Aichu, how are you? Good. How are you guys? Good, good. It's nice to see you again. Where nice have you been? You. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm here. It's uh, it's summer, so. <laughs> <laughs> She's not on burbling at three in the morning like everyone else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How are you doing, Nian? Thank you, Archie. Good. Oh, good, good. Um, thank you so much for being here, Aichu, How have you been enjoying? The You're in Canada, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so how are you enjoying the summer? Oh, uh, activities, outdoors. Nice. Like, do you have a favorite? Which ones? Do you, like, what do you usually do outside? Maybe that's connection. Oh, uh, yeah. We lost you, Aichu. We cannot hear you anymore. Um, okay. I'm going to move on. <laughs> um, Raphael, hi. How are you? Nice to see you again. Hi, Kenji. Hello. How are you today? I am... Um, well, let me see. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> hi, Nina. Hi, Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. It's better than bad. Raphael, thank you so much for being here. Always nice to have you. And um, is that Thiago? Hey, Candy. How are you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks. Awesome. Thiago, have you ever been in class with us or with me? Have you ever been in my class before? I guess one class, but my connection, uh, as usual, it's very bad, so... I just can't uh, keep with the class until the end, so I hope I stay here until the end, but I don't know. We hope so also. Sometimes <laughs> that happens. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, where no Where are you from again? I'm from Brazil. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. Okay. Well, cool. Thiago, welcome. Welcome back. Thank and um, we're hoping that you can stay in until the end. Hope so. <laughs> Um, Yuki, hi. How are you today? Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> what time is it where you are? Uh, 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. in Moscow. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little sleepy today. It breaks my also heart. Also today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're on this I'm, crazy I'm sleeping cycle. Sleepy. Yes, yes. It's crazy. Okay. Well, is everyone having a good day or morning so far? We're all good. We're all here, ready to learn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yes. awesome. Okay, so um, the ED ending in the past tense, right, is a tricky one. Right, why? It's not regular, you know. It's not. You know, it's, um, and they, I mean, there are all of these, they, you know, you can try to look for rules, but the rules are so vague and there are so many exceptions to those rules that really it's, 
it, you just have to memorize. You just have to look at a word and say, that word is pronounced like this, and stick it in your brain and never forget it. That's the best advice. But we are going to go over a lot of just specific examples. So um, we're going to go, how are the ED endings pronounced? There are three ways that we pronounce them. What is one way? Thiago, you wrote, can you please um, say out loud what you wrote? Uh, sure. Uh, to be used to them, right? Mm-hmm. Be used to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, yeah. Good. Thank you. All right, so how does that sound? Does that sound, how does that sound? Uh, like D? Yeah, D? like to be used. No, oh, D, I guess. I D. It sounds used. When I say it, it sounds like a T, used. I, yes. I'm used to it. Okay, he's used to oh. it. Oh, but the, the sound is like use or use? Use. Use. Yes. Use. Oh, with so an S, like an S. Yeah, so it's used. He's used or... to it. Yeah, like an S. He's used to it. Mm -hmm. Used. Mm -hmm. Used to Thank them. You. Yeah. Good. Good. Thank you. Okay. If, Nihon if, if wrote. You, if you say, if you say, you, if you say, I, I, I'd like to use your camera. It, in this case, I think, I think D sound. You uh, Z, Z sound. Z sound. Mm. Yeah, Yuki. You were listening yesterday. I think you were. <laughs> awesome. Um, good. Nihon, what did you write here in the chat? Can you explain it to us? Ooh, really hard to explain, but sometimes uh, we express ED, all of them. Sometimes it sounds with T sounds. Sometimes only D, a, a short D. Exactly. Do you all, uh, I mean, you're all English students, and you're, you're uh, pretty advanced, so I think you know what I mean when I say syllable. A syllable, do you know what I mean when I say syllable? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone, or is there someone that doesn't know? Okay, so yeah, exactly. The first one that, can everyone see the verbling chat box on the right? It's a blue box and everyone's chatting. I'll yeah. say hello. Can everyone see? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, I see. Okay, good. Oh, I chew, you're back. We yeah. heard you. <laughs> Yay, welcome back. Okay. Um, good. So I'll be I'm going to be using this. If you can't see it, just let me know and uh, we'll make it work uh, somehow. Um, okay, exactly. So this E D that Nihon typed makes uh, what she means is an it's an extra syllable, right? So um, what I'd like to do because they're, the rules, as I said, are kind of broad, broad, wide, like the rules are broad, and there are so many exceptions. So let's just look at one sound at a time, and we're going to list off some words that have that sound. And then later we're going to do some practices with it. All right? Um, so, yes, the, the ED ending, they will all look like ED. Okay, the regular ones. We're talking about regular verbs in the past tense, the simple past. They will all end with ed, but they will sound three different ways. How do we know? I don't know. We don't. We memorize and we practice a lot, right? So, um, okay, so let's look at this ed ending, okay, where it's the extra syllable. Do any words come to your mind off the top of your head? Interrupted. Interrupted? Yeah, with ED. Very strong Good. express. Interrupted. Interrupted. Can you give me a sentence, please, Nihan? Oh, oh I'm really bad at sentences. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, you're not. You're always talking. You're great with so sentences. <laughs> Okay, interrupted. All right, Nihan, let me ask you this. Nihan, who interrupted the speaker yesterday? Who interrupted the speaker yesterday? Yeah, the audience uh, interrupted the speaker last night. Okay, good, good. Does everyone know what <laughs> Raphael did? Does anyone... Uh, 
are we clear? I want to make this clear. If there is a word that you do not understand, please say something. Hey, what, excuse me, what does this word mean, right? Does everyone know what, does anyone not know what interrupted means? All right. Okay. Please ask. Don't be shy. Okay. So interrupted. Exactly. That's a good one. Anyone else? Stopped. Stopped. Is it, how does that sound at the end? G. Stopped. T sound. T. T. Exactly. We are looking at the sound that makes an extra syllable, an extra sound at the end. Right? Interrupt. Interrupted. Okay, an extra sound. Want is another one. Wanted. Past tense. Wanted. 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 Good. End is another one. End. Past tense. Ended. 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 Yeah. Ended. Good. Yuki, can you please say ended? Ended. Exactly. You got it. Okay. What is the opposite of end? Start. Start. Past tense? Started. Good. Raphael, when did this class start? This class, this class started at 10 p.m. Good. Your time, right? Yes, my time. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Okay, good. Uh, start. What about this word, add? Do we know add? Yeah. Two plus two? Add. Added. 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 Okay. Decide. Past tense? Decided. 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 Good. Decide. Um, let's go to Thiago. What yep. did you decide to eat yesterday? I uh, decided to eat um, frijoles. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Beans, beans, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good, good, good. Uh-huh. I decided to eat... Beans. Beans, good, right. yesterday. Good. Um, excellent. Decide, decided. What about taste? Taste it. Taste. Tasted. Good. Um, do you guys know what this word means when you taste something? Yeah. yeah. Yummy. Okay. Well, when you, it's it's a verb, right? When you try something, when you have a one bite of something, yeah. okay, to see what it tastes like, and we usually use it with like. Um, I chew. Yeah. Um, did you eat? Ice cream last week? Yes, I eat it. Eat it? No, I chew. I chew. Yeah. Yeah, I eat past tense is not regular. It's irregular, I right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know you know this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what did you eat last week? That's my question. What did you eat last week? I ate uh, uh, Chinese food. Okay. And what did it taste like? It tasted very terrific. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Good. Um, it tastes. Give me a new answer. This is um. Let me stop really quickly. Um, if I ask what did it taste like, I'm asking, like, I want to imagine. I want to know um, what my mouth would experience, right? I want to know the flavor of it, okay? So what did it taste like? Uh. Um, I want to know the flavor, right? But then if I ask, how did it taste? Okay. Those are two slightly different questions. What is the second question? How did it taste? Okay, for the second, now I can say it tasted 
terrific. For Good. the one, first one, is that that spicy? Okay, exactly. Good, okay. exactly. Perfect, perfect. Good job. Um, uh, Raphael. Hi. Hi. What did what did you eat for dinner? I ate vegetables for dinner. Mm, and how did it taste? Well, how did they taste? Because vegetables, how did they taste? They taste good. They taste good? Good. good. They taste? Tasted. Tasted good. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Remember, right now we are focusing on the ED ending, or on where it's an extra sound. It's an extra syllable. Okay? So we are on on that. Okay? They tasted great. Uh, Nihon, you asked flavor. Are you asking about the meaning of the word? You just used flavor. Uh, did I uh, her, uh, hear correctly? I just asked it. Oh, yes. Yeah. What did it taste like? Did it taste like chicken? Did it taste like, I don't know, of certain flavor, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and how did it taste is the quality. Was it good? Was it bad? Was it great? Right. Chicken? I, maybe we're not no. talking about ice cream. Chicken ice cream. No. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay, that would be the difference in those two questions, right? Okay. It's the same. Um, this is a little bit off topic, but it's the same structure for something else. For example, for look. What does it look like? It looks like an office. There is a computer and a table and a chair. It, that's what it looks like, okay? But how? How does it look? It looks beautiful. It looks messy. It looks ugly. It looks big. It looks great. So, I don't know. It's just a side note, right? Two different questions. Are we together? Yes. Yep. yep. Awesome. Okay, so tasted. Um, uh, Yuki. Yes. Did you, or what did you eat for dinner last night? Last night, I, uh -huh. I, I ate curry. Curry. Curry, okay. Curry. And how, how, how did it taste? <laughs> of how course, did it taste? Have, of course, it, taste, it tasted hot. <laughs> it tasted hot. Hot, it's like temperature? Like hot, hot or hot spicy? Curry. Hot curry. I mean, like hot, 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 like, hot a temp curry. Like, like temperature? No, or? it's... Uh, um, no, not 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 the temper temperature. Uh, spicy. spicy. I mean, I mean spicy. It tasted oh, okay. spicy. It tasted spicy. Very good. spicy. Good. Okay. Good. You were correct, by the way. You, we can say hot to mean spicy, but can English is can, that. Yeah, can, that was it, correct. It uh, it sounds strange if I I say uh, it tasted hot. Well, no, I mean, I um, it's it's fine. It works. Mm -hmm. It's good. Works. Um, but English, mm -hmm. even if you were a native speaker, mm -hmm. and you know, you're my friend, and you say, "Oh, it's really hot," I would still ask you because English mm -hmm. is the same ah, word. Okay. I'm going to ask, "Hot in temperature or hot like spicy?" This it's is a, bit, a it, common it, it, conversation mm -hmm. English speakers have with each other all the time. Is it hot ah, like spicy or hot I like? See. Temperature always. It's better. better to. It, it's better to say it. It taste. It tasted spicy. Yeah. Yeah, better. because then I don't have to ask you the next question. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> to clarify, but I asked you the question not because you're incorrect, only because. That's what we do. Do you understand? <laughs> it would be clearer for you. Yeah? Exactly, to clarify. Okay. And native speakers clarify something like that all the time. Mm -hmm. Just English okay. is sometimes very broad and like has a word for everything, and then sometimes it uses one word for everything. Like, mm -hmm. like love. Like, 
do you love love me or love me like a friend or love me like a girlfriend or love me like your job? Like we have one word. It's <laughs> <laughs> always confusing. Right? Yes. Same thing. Confusing. Okay. So it's all good. You're you're correct, in other words. You're correct. Um good. Okay. Um what? where are we? We're still on yeah, question? No questions. Okay. Grade. To grade. What does that mean? To grade. Grade means uh, make uh, make foods more more little more, more small. Um, kind of scaling mm. something. Oh, okay. Um, sure. But in the more general sense of the word, is when a teacher grades your exam. Oh. Ah. Correct. Wrong, correct, 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 100%, great, wonderful. Okay, I have to grade essays. I have to read papers and mark them to grade. Evaluate, maybe. Huh? Evaluate or something? Evaluate, yeah, another word, exactly. Okay, so the past tense? Graded? Exactly. Remember, graded, we're on the ED. To score, exactly, Thiago, exactly. Um, okay, so Thiago, yep. who graded these exams? These exams? Who graded them? Uh, these gr uh, exams were graded by Yukino. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yukino, did you grade these exams? Uh, uh, um, uh, the, um, I, I, you? <laughs> you. I, I did, I'm asking you, did you grade these exams right here? I I I didn't grade uh, I, I, I graded exam. Yes, no? I graded these exams. I, mm -hmm. Repeat, yes. yes, I graded these exams. I graded this exam. It it it, it was it I succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you could say yes, I graded them, <laughs> or yes, I did. But yeah, good. Okay. Um, well, thank you for the good grade, Yuki. Good. So those are some <laughs> general verbs. But remember, it's going to sound like ed. Any questions on what we um, what we went over? Any questions so far? No. Nope. Okay. A common, um, now we have the T sound and the D sound. Let's go over verbs that have the T, T sound. Who can think of any? Work. Work. Past tense? Worked. Worked. Theo, or Thiago, I'm sorry, can you give me a sentence with worked? I worked all day long. Good, good, thank you. And Nihon, um, can you, uh, what about ask? Asked. Exactly. Give me. Or watch. A, watched. Or watch. Okay. Mm. This sh or ch will have a t sound at the end. Yeah. Okay. Did Nihon? Did you watch the football game? Oh last no. Week? I did not. I watched. The football game. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm a big liar. <laughs> what did you what What did you watch last week? Oh, I watched lots of new movies. Mm, okay, good, good. Um, thank you. I chew. Another one that has the T sound is this word. Guess. So I chew in the past tense. Guessed. Guessed. Okay. Do we all know what this word means? To guess? Yeah. Let me guess. Right. Let me guess. <laughs> okay, so Aichu, can you give me a sentence for guess? Did you guess the correct answer? Yes, I did guess the correct answer. Yes, I did guess the correct answer, or yes, I? Guessed. Yes, good. One more time. Did you guess the correct answer? Yes, I guessed the correct answer. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Good. Raphael, another word that sounds like tea. Bake. 
Do you know what to bake is? Bake and cook. Both of those sound like tea. Uh, today I bake. Yesterday I? Baked. Baked. Today I cook. Yesterday I? Cooked. Good. Cooked. Who knows the difference between cook and bake? Uh, you bake a cake. Uh huh. You cook a dinner. You cook a meal. Uh huh. Uh well. Bake is kind of. Uh, what, 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 what Think about the... what you use in your kitchen when you cook oh, oh, oh. and when you bake. Uh, kind of oven or something. You have to use oven. For which one? For baking. Exactly. Bake is in the oven. So you can yeah. bake a cake, you can bake a chicken, you can bake vegetables if you want in the oven, right? It goes inside. Yeah. You cannot cook. bake a spaghetti or something. <laughs> no, first you cook the spaghetti, right? Yes. So you cook on the stove and you bake in the oven, right? Mm -hmm. Extra yeah. side now. Okay, um, Raphael, have you ever baked a cake? <laughs> well, I'm awful at the kitchen, but in uh, the kitchen, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Well, but I haven't baked a cake before. Okay. All right. Can they have... ask me soccer game and uh, <laughs> can they ask Raphael? <laughs> I think it's more appropriate for me, huh? You know. <laughs> or Arshu. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's just what it is, right? You know what you're going to get when you come to my class. We are defying stereotypes left and right <laughs> because it's fun for me. Um, okay, uh, Bake. Um, Yuki. Yes. Did your wife cook dinner? See, we're back. Did your wife cook dinner for you yesterday? Yesterday, my wife cooked our dinner. Oh, what did she cook? She cooked. Uh, she she cook she cooked curry. Awesome, good. And how did it taste? It tasted very good. It it was tasty. Excellent. O only Excellent. it was very hot. It was only, really only hot. but very hot. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, good. That means I think that's good, right? <laughs> that's, that's good for Kurt. For Kurt. What for is the difference? Uh, sorry, I can I ask you? What is the difference between uh, between bake and roast and grill? <laughs> uh, I'm sick of the confused. Co confusing. So anyway, that's you a good question. That's a it's that's a great difficult. question. Um, who does anyone know the answer? Neon, maybe. <laughs> Go ahead, Aichu. No, Nian, I see. <laughs> oh, Nia. Why would Nihan know and not you? Because she she eats a lot. <laughs> <laughs> How did it come? No, I'm really <laughs> slim. I didn't eat a lot. You forgot me, Archu. <laughs> no, you are often in the kitchen. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I am always starving just because. Okay. All right. Um, okay. The difference is you said bake, roast, and grill, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so we know that bake is in an oven, right? Yes. In general. Okay. Yeah. Baking yeah. is in an oven. Mm -hmm. Grill is a verb but it's also a noun so a grill is like a like a barbecue right you have those lines oh. right with the fire always. coming up yeah and it's really healthy yeah it's healthier because you don't usually use oil right it's just the, yeah. the fire and then there's a grill on top and the grill yeah. looks like i don't know like this and you put your meat or your vegetables or whatever you want to grill mm -hmm. on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, So grill, think like a barbecue. Fire and this thing that you put it on is called a grill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the grill. And then it makes those marks, right, on your food, those lines. Um, to roast is also in the oven. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it's like slow cooking. It's oh. it's slow baking. So you don't really roast a cake. You roast meat because the meat is in the oven for like five or six hours, maybe. And roast meat, I think, gravy or something, sauce? If you want. I mean, if you want. But um, it is... Uh, it's um it's just slow. It's a slow cooking process in an oven, for example. Or vegetables. You, vegetables you can roast and it's slower in the oven. You always bake quickly. Or not always. I, I guess. I don't usually bake anyway, so I I don't bake quickly, I don't bake slowly, I just don't bake, I don't know. But yeah, I think baking would just be quicker. And um, for things like, I mean, you can, I mean, just in the oven and out, in and out. But roasting is a long, slow process, usually for meat or vegetables. I see. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. You got it. Thank you for asking. That was a great question. Okay. Uh, Nia, you want a class you, on cooking techniques? Sorry, you don't use uh, yes. burn in cooking, yeah? Burn, you shouldn't. <laughs> shouldn't, okay. Sorry. Yeah, they, because, you know, th um, different dishes, different cultures, they cook differently, th their techniques differently. Maybe. You know, it's Indeed. true, actually. Nihan, that's so funny that you said, I was thinking about that today, about you know, I'm always like, thinking about classes or something. I was thinking about uh, having a class about really technical food terms. And I'm like, I don't know if they would be interested in that. But you just said it. No, it would be. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Maybe I will. You will see it on the list. Thank you. Maybe you should let me teach the class. You want to teach the class, Raphael? No, I. <laughs> of course not. Why not? You guys are eventually going to teach a class. I'm working my way there. What, um, when we are you know, abroad and we have to order something, maybe it could be really helpful to know the cooking techniques because our culture's uh, dishes different and the others different. It's I think true. it could be helpful. Hmm, I don't know. Awesome. Well, you'll you'll see it on the list. It will be around this time so you can make it too. So thank you. See? That was easy. There are um, many kind of such such a verb in Japanese in Japan Japanese. We, maybe we have a long tradition in Japanese uh, cook, cooking. Um, uh, many many kind of way of bake. Uh, so it depend on the culture. Depend on the food culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There are many different ways of cooking. That's mm -hmm. true. That's yes. true. Maybe that, that would be an interesting class. Ah, thanks for the ideas, guys. Seriously. Um, mm -hmm. We'll do it. Okay. Um, so we kind of went around, but yeah, cook and bake both sound like T. Okay. Um, and words that end in X, usually, like fix. Fix, past tense. Fixed. 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 Even though it's ED, it still sounds like T. Okay? Fix. Fixed. Okay? Um, do you know what fix is? Like to repair. To repair. Exactly good. Oh, and another oh. one? Oh, sorry. That's not that one. Fax. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. Did you fax over the documents? Aichu? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I, or yes, you? I, yes, I faxed over the document. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Okay, any um, any questions so far? What did you say? Fax over? Fax, yeah. Fax over. Fax over? Fax over yeah. Reposition over is used. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, did you fax the documents? Did you fax over the documents? It's, it's a little informal, but we say that. Fax over the document. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I didn't Just know. fax it over, and I will receive it. 
Okay. Just fax it over. Yeah, it's informal, but we say that. Okay. Um, and now we just have the D, the D sound. D. Like this great word. Hug. Play. 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 Yeah, lots Hug. of good words. Right? Hug, past tense. Hug. 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 Yes, I know. This is difficult. This G, D. I know. It's difficult. Yuki, try again. Hugged. 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 D. Hugged. D sound. Hmm? D. D sound. D sound. D, D, D. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Hugged. Hugged, exactly. Good. Thank you. Raphael? Hugged. Perfect. You guys got it. Okay. Neon also said play. Past tense? Played. 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 Good. What about to sign? I sign my name. Signed. I? Signed. 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 Good. What about to breathe? Breathe. Yesterday I? Oh. <laughs> breathe. Breathed. Breathe. 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 Oh, breathed is with is with sounds like it sounds like a D. And I don't know if you can see the chat now. I can't see what I write, but I I think I wrote breathed, B R E A T H E D, breathed. Mm -hmm. Little delayed. Mm, I mean, uh, it's really now I can't boring. see. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I can't see it at all. Breathed. It sounds like a D. Breathe. To? T, T sound or D sound? D. We are on all D. the words from now on, right now, are D. D. Uh -huh. Breathe. 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 Yeah. Um, <clears throat> another word, do you know this word, Breathe. to grab? Yeah. To grab. Past tense? Grab. Grabbed. Grabbed. Yeah. I grabbed the marker from her. Okay, I grabbed it to grab. Okay, uh, another one, stay. Stayed. Stayed, easy, right? Um, what about live? Lived. 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 Okay. Lived. 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 Yes. Lived, lived, lived. Okay, good. Save to save. Did you save your documents? I saved it. Saved. saved. Yeah, with a D. Good, good. Um, okay, excellent. Um, any questions so far? Mm, no. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you guys some questions now. Let's start with Raphael. Raphael. Hi. Hello. Hello. Did Don't you? Sleep. Huh? Don't sleep, Raphael. I know. Okay, no, I'm here. <laughs> Wake up. Yeah, he's awake. Um, Raphael. Um, did you prepare the presentation already? Yes, I already. Uh, I prepared my presentation. Okay, good. I prepared D, yeah. right? Prepared my presentation. Mm hmm Good. Thank you. Um, and then let's go to oh, uh, Raul. Raul is in the class. Welcome, Raul. I um, maybe you are on. Maybe you're on mute. We can't hear you, Raul. Okay, I'm coming back to you, Yuki. Oh. Yes. Yuki, did you okay. enjoy you. the move? Oh, Raul, there we go. Hi, we can hear you. Hi. Yeah. Uh, how are you today? I'm just uh, um, coming to my home because from the job. Awesome. You just got home? Yeah. Cool. Welcome home. <laughs> Thanks for being here with us. Uh, we're talking about the past tense and pronunciation. Uh, Yuki, were we on Yuki? No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just said Yuki. Yuki. Yes. Yuki, did you enjoy the movie yesterday? 
Yesterday I enjoyed the movie. Yeah. D, right? Yes, D, D, D sound. Okay, good. Enjoyed. Mm hmm. Exactly. Um, I chew. Yes. How many hours did you work last week? I worked too much hours. Too many hours. <laughs> too many. Oh my God. Too many. Okay, good. That works. That works. Thank you. Nihan. Yeah. How far did you walk last week? <laughs> oh, I walked three miles. Three miles? Three miles. Mm. Last okay. week. All right, excellent. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We don't care. I don't care if you're lying. I am just listening for your pronunciation at this point. Yes, you can yes. say anything you want. Okay. Um, okay. Ra Raphael. Oi. Hi. Hi. What did you want to be when you were a kid? Like when you grew up. I wanted to be a policeman. You what? I wanted to be a policeman. Good, good. I wanted to be a policeman. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Raul. Yeah, thank you. Raul. Hi. D um, let's see. Um, who, wait, Raul, what time is it? Uh, where are you? Are you in Mexico? Yeah, I'm next. Okay. Raphael, who cooked breakfast this morning in your house? Me or Raul? Hmm? Raul. You just said Raphael. Did I? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. You guys, okay. You're next to each other. <laughs> it's confusing me. Okay. Raul. Anyway, I gave you the answer. Raul, who cooked breakfast? I cooked to myself because I'm alone in my house. <laughs> okay, I cooked to myself or I cooked for myself? Um, to myself, no, for myself. For, okay, for. for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cooked for yourself. Okay. No, but, but also but to myself because I'm alone in my house. Is that okay? Mm, by myself means you cooked alone, like no one helped you. Yeah, but also the breakfast, it's only for me. Yeah, we, yeah. we say for. I cooked for myself. Mm. You don't cook to someone, you cook for someone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Um, Raul. Did you exercise last week? Uh, yes, I exercise uh, every day. Okay, I exercise every day, right? Present tense. Yes. Okay, good. Any questions so far? All right, this is good. I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to look at a short reading passage. Um, and then we're going to take turns kind of reading it. So where are we? Okay, um, let's start with Aichu. Can you guys see this? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Aichu. Okay. Uh, yesterday was so busy. At the office, I worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours. Perfect. Perfect. Any questions here? Any words we don't understand? No. Okay, good. Thank you. Who's next to Aichu? Me. Okay. I remembered an advertising plan that worked five years ago, and I suggested we try that again. We mm -hmm. needed to get the manager's approval. Excellent. Thank you. Nihan, that was good. Can you um, say this word, please, again? Advertising. Good. Okay. So we want to say advertising. Hmm. Advertising. Okay. Yes. 
Wonderful. Good. Thank you. Can you try that first part again? Here we go. I like here to there. Okay. I remembered an advertising plan that worked five years ago. You got it. You got it. Okay. What about this one? Worked. One more time. Worked. Yes. Am I hearing a little bit of this? Oh, again, yes. <laughs> I think so. Okay, I know it's a, I know it's a, it's like a thing. My okay. Wii sound is awful. Yeah, work. It's okay. Work. So just think about it, um, Nihon. Whenever you see this, whenever you see a W, your teeth should never touch your lips. Okay. Work. Just not at all, huh? Worked. Exactly. Wait, you're okay. You're Turkish, right? Wouldn't it be the opposite? Like when you see this, okay, my favorite thing that Turkish people say in English is this word right here. Ooh. <laughs> <We'll>. You. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I never, never say you. <laughs> we. Yeah, exa okay, exactly, right? How do we say this correctly? View. 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 Right, with the V, okay, so keep this word in mind. I'm going to unshare my screen. Okay, um, this is a common mistake made uh, for students whose native language pronounces the W like the V and the V like the W compared to... We have to no W. <laughs> okay, okay, so it's, right? Only when, we. You, when you say V, yeah. V, V, like my teeth touch my lip, V, v. right? V. But when you see W, your teeth never touch your lips. Wha. Wha. Oh, okay. So work, work, work. You do. You, do you see view. the difference? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So try that one again. View. Work. Okay. Work. View. View. I don't touch. Right. View. Okay. Um. View. View. Think here. Let me share my screen again. Okay. So keep that in mind. And everyone, everyone who has difficulties with that sound, I don't know if you're watching or if you're in this class, but when you say double a W in English, your teeth never touch your lips ever in the beginning, at the end, never, never, never. Okay. Wind. It's windy, right? Wind should come out of your mouth because there's nothing blocking it when you uh, say the W sound. Right? Wind. Wind. Okay. So, view. How would you pronounce this? View. How would you pronounce this? View. Wait, this one. The V, 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 with your teeth will touch your lips on this one. View. Exactly. View, right? What if this is like this? Like a V and U, as in me and you. Right? Put it together. View. That's exactly it. Do you hear it? Yeah. Do you, did you hear you? You said it. Did you hear it? Yes. Think of, view. View. The v, say it. V. 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 View. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. One more time. View. One more time. View. View. Think of V and you, like me and you. Okay. View. One more time. View. Again. View. Again. View. View. Like me and you. View. View. You got it. You got it. You got it. All right? I'm so just keep sweating. that in mind. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to make you nervous. That's the opposite. Um, but yeah, but you know, it it will help. Okay. Yes, my voice sound is not good. Just I said, okay. we have no W U, and it's really hard to pronounce it. I see. So when you see this, just think of wind, air. Air should come through your mouth because your teeth are not closing off your mouth. It's open. Worked. Okay. Worked. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Nihan. That was really good. I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you nervous. <laughs>
No, no, uh, thank, good. thank you for your corrections. Thank you. Um, yeah, no problem. Raphael, you are next. Go ahead. We called him on the office phone. He admitted that the idea seemed good, but he believed he should lower the budget. Good. Excellent. Wonderful pronunciation. You got it. Can you read this last part again, please? But he believed he should lower the budget. Good. Who should lower the budget? We. We. Yeah. It sounded like you said he, but yeah. But he believed we should lower the budget. Excellent. Any words here we don't know? Okay. You guys are so good. Um, I think Raul is next to Rafael. Raul, can you please read this? Okay. We reported our numbers to him and talked about the budget for a long time. Finally, he decided to give to give us the money we wanted. Perfect. Good. Good job. Can you say this word again, please? Decided. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. Thank you. Oh, I missed this one, huh? There we go. Okay, thank you, Raul. Who's after Raul? I? No. Yes, no. that would be Yuki. Go ahead. Yes. On, on the way home, I stopped at the, at the mall. I had, promise, I had promised my daughter a new MP3 player for her, for her birthday. Oh, good. That was really good, Yuki. Good job. Thank um, you. Yeah. Uh, I stopped at the? Mall. Right. Can you try saying mall? Mall. Okay. Mall. 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 Mm -hmm. It sounded a little bit like you said mole. Mm -hmm. Right? Mole. Mall. Mall. Like a ah ah. Mall. Mall. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. Good. Maybe it's also other people's accents. Okay. Good. Good job. Any other words? Any words here we don't understand? Understand. Mm -hmm. You guys are so good. Okay, I think we go back around now. Aichu, it's back to you, right? Yes. Okay. At the electronic store, I played the song and listened for quality sound. I decided to buy one at a medium price. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Can you say this word again, please? Electronics. Good. Okay, so this is just a really small difference, a small change, but it will make a big difference in the sound. Think like I, like it, not like E. Not electronics, but electronics. Like I sound like it. Okay, electronics. Yeah. Okay, it's a, it's a small thing, right? But same thing for here, right? How do you pronounce this word? Quality. 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 It's that schwa, uh, sound that we've talked about before. Uh, quality. Quality. You got it. Electronics. Electronics. Ele did you hear it? Electronics? Almost like E, but we want like I. I sound. Electronics. You got it. Do you hear the difference? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Um, good job. Thank you. Uh, who's, who's after? I think is that Nihon? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. When I got home, the kitchen was, was a mess. Mm -hmm. At our house, we have agreed to clean up after ourselves. So I asked around to find out who had cooked last. Good. Who had cooked last? Cooked mm -hmm. last. Perfect. Got it. Good. Um, any other any words in here we don't know? No. All right. Okay. Um, thank you. Nihon, who's next? Is it Raphael? Uh, that person turned out to be my son. While he washed the dishes, I sat at the kitchen table and talked to him about his schoolwork. Good, good, thank you. Same thing, same, same small, small thing that I was telling Aichu. Um, and this can be something, I mean, it, it, it's not really important, okay? So it's not like you're making a big decision or a big uh, mistake. 
But if you really want your pronunciation to sound close to a native speaker, it will make a difference, okay? A lot of times when you see this I, we don't say E. It's, a, it's more relaxed than that, right? So we don't say kitchen, we say kitchen, right? So if we just think of the word it, right? When I see it, do I say eat? A question to you guys. How do you say this word? It. 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 How do you say this word? Eat. Eat. Okay. Eat. What we want, the sound, we want this sound. I. Okay. So, it's. Raphael, one more time. Kitchen. You got it. Um, that while he washed. And, and this word, please? Dishes. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. The I sound. Um, excellent. Okay. Do you guys know what it means? That person turned out to be my son. Uh, became. Um, I understand you. Yeah. Uh, not really became like because to become something is to change from one thing to another, mm -hmm. right? Um, but it's almost like the answer is my son. Okay. Like resulted. Uh, that Qu person qualified. turned. Huh. It, 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 was, it, it became clear that... Exactly. It became, it's something that becomes clear. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It turned out, Fine. right? Fine. Like that person turned out to be my son. Yeah. We, we mm -hmm. find out that it was my son. Exactly. Good. Mm -hmm. You guys are good. Okay. I'm really impressed. Raul, can you please read here? I think we have Raul and then Yuki. So Raul, do this, and then Yuki, the last part. Okay. Larger he test into an advancing program, and I wanted to see how he was doing. He seemed happy with it. Good, good, thank you. I don't know if you cut out, but can you say this word again, please? Tested. Tested, good. Into an? Advanced. 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 It's going to sound like T. Like ST, advanced. Advanced. Like, perfect, just like that. Can you say it one more time? Advanced. Perfect. Good. And I wanted to see how he was doing. He seemed happy with it. Thank you, Raul. That was great. Yuki? Yes. He started to tell, telling me about his classes and what he learned that, that day. Perfect. Good. Um, you guys, great job. Any questions on this? Nope. I'm really impressed with you guys. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You should all clap for yourselves. Yay! Yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. Cool. So are there any other questions about what we went over? It was pretty basic, but um, I think uh, I saw some improvement today, so that's good. I wish, honestly, I have looked and I have looked. I wish there was, I wish there was an easier rule or something that I could give you that you could just, okay, these words are here, 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 but really it's just remembering. So, sorry. It's over and over again. Mm, yeah. Um, Thank so you no, so much for you useful lesson. Thank you guys. Thank you for being great students. We're going to um, put this kind of into practice a little bit more in the next class. We're going to read a passage and we're also going to read about a really cool person and uh, important person in history, Cesar Chavez. So I don't know if you've heard of him. Um, if not, then you're going to learn something new in the next class. If I don't see you, then that's Fine too. I hope you have a great night, day, all that good stuff. Okay. Right. And good job, Jenny. Okay. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank you, Kenzie, okay. for the Bye. class. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you.